White men and women and children exclaim in dismay when disturbance echoes in the ring after a gunshot, and not for the victim of the bullet. Sensible men and women and children exclaim in outrage, disgust, and terror, and the echoes in the rings after several gunshots for the victim of the bullet. But sensible screams from wide open mouths are drowned out by the whispers of the privileged, wrapped in blood stained American flags and calling them home, as long as you ignore the leaks of red. And at home under untrue navy stars, every person plays cops and robbers, running endlessly, but these cops have real guns and poison ivy index fingers. And this five-pointed leaf is quick to grow in dark places to defend the bloody stars that give off no light. And obscured by dark vines, robbers are forced to run blindly in darkness. And when protest begins that it is unfair to run in the dark, they claim it is, because light still exists. People say, you can't fight violence with violence. You can tell that to Vietnam and the world wars and Korea and Afghanistan. Sometimes peace is necessary, but when whispering in the flag's ear results in being swatted like a fly, protests nothing but pests, then you're showing your people that you're deaf. But your selective hearing can't discourage these lions, and we will keep roaring until you hear us. You can sit with a tight tie, straighten your labels and smile for camera flashes. Great. But you can't justify the tight state, the straightening of citizens that were never out of order, and you can't keep making them smile under the muscle flashes of gunshots. So pull your brown nose out of your privileged world leader's business and look at your country without binoculars. Sure, not all cops are killers, but last time I checked, that wasn't an excuse for the ones that do. Badges shouldn't come with a get out of jail free card. Stop denying that there's a problem. Stop turning people into politics. Oh, yeah.